Since its introduction in 2007, the Spectra Precision Epoch 25 RTK system has proven to be a cost-effective and reliable choice for surveyors across the country. The Epoch 25 RTK system is capable of performing base rover RTK, post-processing, and RTK network surveys. This video will demonstrate how to set up the Epoch 25 for a base rover RTK survey. Begin with your tripod leveled and set up over your base point. Attach the base receiver to the blue 25 centimeter pole. The base receiver will have base stamped on its bottom. The 25 centimeter pole is provided to raise your receiver above the tri rack so that you can more easily attach your cables. Now attach the 25 centimeter pole with the base receiver to the tri rack. Next, attach one of your 9-pin serial cables to COM port 2 of the base receiver. Make sure to screw the cable tight and let the other end of the cable hang for now. I recommend you use COM port 2 for all your receiver communications. This is because the Epoch 25 COM port 2 has a low power out voltage that powers the Bluetooth adapters. Bluetooth adapters can only be used on COM port 2. It is not a bad idea to condition yourself to reserving COM port 2 for all your receiver data communications. Attach your Pacific Crest base radio to the side of the tripod using the hook on the side of the radio. Attach the radio antenna mount to the side of your tripod. Assemble the whip antenna and place it on the mount. Attach the radio antenna cable to the radio. In this demonstration we are using the high gain whip antenna. Depending upon the terrain and weather conditions you can range up to 5 miles with the whip antenna and the radio's power set to high. Next, attach the data and power cable to the radio and to COM port 1 on the base receiver. This cable also attaches to your 12 volt power supply. In this demonstration we are using a small car battery. A couple of things to note here. Your radio kit came with two grade data and power cables. They look similar, but are very different. One cable connects the radio to your PC to enable programming of the radio. The other cable connects to the radio, the base receiver, and to your 12 volt power source. Be sure not to confuse these two cables, as a field cable could cause damage to your PC. The field cable should be labeled part number A02443. It might not be a bad idea to also tag it somehow. With your base receiver and radio connected and ready to go, power on the radio and the base receiver. Let them cook while you set up the rover. Set up the blue 2 meter range pole that came with your Epoch 25 system. Screw the two pieces together, expand the bipod legs, and attach the data collector bracket to the range pole. In this demonstration, we are using a Bluetooth adapter. If you are using a Bluetooth adapter, go ahead and attach it at this time. Remember, Bluetooth adapters can only be used on COM port 2. Attach the rover receiver and antenna to the range pole. Like the base, the rover will also be stamped on the bottom to help tell them apart. Also, the rover will have an antenna connection for its internal receive-only radio. Now, attach the rubber duck radio antenna to the rover receiver and power on the receiver. You're now ready to start your GPS survey. For information on starting your GPS survey, refer to the GPS Quick Start Guide. This video is not comprehensive and should be used only as a general guide for setting up your Epoch 25 RTK base and rover. 
For additional information and detailed instructions on beginning a GPS survey, please refer to your Survey Pro Reference Manual and the GPS Quick Start Guide. Both documents are available online at www.tdsway.com. As always, if you have any problems in the field or in your office, please do not hesitate to call TDS Technical Support at 541-757-7254. Thank you, and thank you for buying TDS.